everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I am here today on Friday, April 24th with another cross-stitching update. I think it's been like a month-ish since my last video and so yeah, I'm going to show you what I've been working on since my last video. First thing that I've done since my last video is hair. If you lock a girl in her house with some hair dye, she's going to be dyeing her hair and yeah, so new hair, new me, no one sees it because I'm locked in a house, whatever, it's fine. So like I could have destroyed my hair and it really wouldn't have mattered because no one would have seen until like, I don't know what anyone's going to see me. But yeah, so there was that and moving on to cross stitch. So the first project that I'm going to show is a Heaven and Earth Designs. I only worked on two of my Hades in the last month, which is kind of sad because I have so many Hades that I need to work on. But yeah, so the first one I'm going to show is Far Pavilions by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Here is where it was when I first started working on it. And here it is now. I am stitching this on 25 count even weave, 2 over 1 tenth stitch, and I was originally stitching it page by page, but now that I have Pattern Keeper, I have started stitching it cross country, so I've just kind of started going out from my lines, and yeah, I'm liking working on this. It has less colors than a normal Heaven and Earth chart. I think it has like 40-ish or 50 colors somewhere around there. And most Heaven and Earth charts have like 80 to 90 colors in a regular one, so it's nice having less colors. Yes, I like this chart. I need to work on it more, but I only worked on it for like three days. And I didn't work on it that long on those days because I think this I worked on this around the time that Animal Crossing came out. And when Animal Crossing first came out is when I played a lot. Like I've kind of slowed down on it, so I'm not going as crazy. And I got back to stitching a little bit more, but when it first came out, it was like, oh, I need to play every day, I need to pay off my loans, I need flowers. I still need flowers, but it's a different story. So the next thing that I will show is the second Heaven and Earth chart that I worked on, and that was Mini Home is Where the Magic Is by Randall Spangler. And I'll insert here where I was when I first started working on it. And here it is now. I started working on this one when I first started it. I was stitching page by page across the top row. And then once I finished the top row, I decided I would start stitching it extreme cross country by color. So uh, there were a couple colors that I was working on when I was working on this chart that I actually ran out of before I could finish the color. So some of these colors are not completely finished yet because I need more colors, but things are closed, you know? Everything's closed. I might have the colors in some of my other projects, but I haven't looked yet. I was just like, didn't want to get up because I was stitching at the time. And once I sit down to stitch, I'm usually not going to get up for things if I don't have to. So yes, I need to look for those colors to actually finish them, but yeah. There's that. I am enjoying working on this. And it's fun to see how it's showing up on mine compared to my sister's because my sister is stitching on this chart but she is just stitching, completing it downward. So she has like a lot of the house finish and all that, whereas mine is going to be slowly coming together color by color. So there's that one. And my goal for this one is to finish it by the end of the year. So I need to get working on that. But I plan on going and like working on that a lot more at the end of the year, once it gets closer to like fall-ish time because then I am more in like the Christmas holiday stitching spirit. So there's that. The next chart that I'm going to show is uh, another full coverage. It's the last full coverage that I have to show that I worked on and it is Sailor Moon. It's artwork I think by Daniel Kordek and it is charted by Tilt and Crafts. Here is where it was when I first started working on it and here it is now. So I decided I wanted to focus mostly on the blue skirt, so I got the skirt completely finished and then I started working my way up, filling in uh, like this little V part here because there was a lot of confetti stitches there, and then slowly working up because I would like to stitch up to her face next, see what her face looks like. 
and I started this one in the center of the chart and not the corners because I did not want to be stitching background first. I wanted to get to like exciting things first, which is why I started from the middle on this. This is on 28 count even weave to over one tent, sti tent stitch. And tent stitch is basically just a half cross stitch, but you do it slightly different in the back so that your fabric doesn't get distorted. If you want to look that up, there are better uh, explanations, like pictures and stuff on websites, than I could explain. So there's that one. And then I have another like Sailor Moonish inspired cross stitch piece here, which is a new start. It was my only new start in the last month, and it will probably be my only new start for a while because I don't have any more fabric. I have never been one to have like a huge fabric stash and so I would just be like oh I can just go buy more when I need more and then now you can't just go buy more that easily unless you order online so I am just not starting things because I do not have fabric to start things right now and I don't really I'm really impatient I don't like waiting for things if they aren't in stock or like picture this plus the waiting time for fabric for picture this plus I love their fabric, but sometimes the weight kills me. Anyways, the new start that I had is uh, from Sleeping Luna Designs on Etsy, and it is Sailor Moon inspired, and it is called, what is it called? Lunar Princess Sal, so it's a stitch along. It is released in, I think, 11 chapters, 10 or 11 chapters, and so far two of them have come out, and I have finished the two. So chapter two came out today, which was this part. And I finished that today, and I am stitching this on 28 count even weave, 2 over 2 full cross, so it's basically like stitching it on a 14 count. And this is fabric that I dyed myself, because like I said, I just had a piece of fabric. I have dyes, so I didn't want to wait for anything if I were to order something, so I just did it. And yes, I like it. I like purpley things, obviously, hair purple back there. So yeah, I love the fabric and I am enjoying stitching this. So there's that. And then I will show you the last piece that I worked on now. And the last thing that I worked on was Castles in the Air by Long Dog Samplers. And here's where it was uh, in my last video. And here's where it is now. So I focused on this one for like a week and a half I worked on it, and the reason why is I am trying to do a page a month. So I did not actually finish a page in March, so I ended up having to finish that page in April. So my March page is this page, hold on. This page here is my March page, this page here is my April page, and then I actually started working on my page for May here because I don't plan on working on this during Mania. It's not in my Mania plans, so I really want to get my May page finished so I'm not behind in June. So I'm stitching this on 18 count Ada from Picture This Plus in the color Huntress, and I am stitching it one over one full cross using Silks For You PR053. And yes, I love this. After I finish this page here, I will only have two pages left. So hopefully I can actually get it finished uh, in July when my birthday is. So there's that. And that was the last thing that I worked on. And so that leads me to my plans for May. May is Stitch Mania, but I am not doing a new start mania because oh, well, I don't have fabric for one thing unless I order fabric, which I have been tempted to. I've been really tempted to, but I also know that I don't need to start anything because I have a lot to stitch on already. So my plan for Mania is to do Mirabilia Mania. And my only Mirabilia is Alice. So it's this chart. And my plan is I would like to try and finish it during Mania because this one is not that big. Um, so Mirabilias, if you don't have one, they come on the paper in here is folded. It's pretty big. But this one is only on one side of the paper. It's not a double-sided one, so it's not that big. And so I'll show where I am on it now. This is what I have done so far. 
and the halfway point on the top is actually here and the halfway point on the side is I think like right here so like I said it's not that big if like a quarter of the chart is like right here so I'm hoping that I can get that done I've been doing the beading as I go because like I said it's not that big and I am stitching this on I think it's 28 count linen from picture this plus in the color I think it's flapper I'm fairly sure it's flapper and this was my first time using linen and I like it it's not bad but it was different and then this part is all sparkly sparkles there's so much sparkly in this chart so yeah that is my plan so um I'll be doing mirabilia mania and then so like that's why I won't be working on my long dog sampler for May and I will I think I'm still going to keep working on the lunar princess though there's a part that comes out I don't remember when it comes out but I know there's at least one part that comes out in May so I want to do that because I don't like getting behind on stitch alongs so I'll be working on Alice and then also this whenever a part is released but the parts don't take me that long to stitch I think part one took two days and part two took just today so that is my plans that's everything I don't have any new purchases or anything like that so yes that is all I hope everyone is doing good I hope no one is running out of cross stitch supplies I hope that we were all well prepared because uh, stitcher shop I have lots of uh, flosses all over the place. I think we all start lots of charts, so we should have lots of things to stitch. And yes, yeah, so I hope everyone is doing well, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Bye, everyone.